I'm Nick Altmeyer with LincolnLewisCounty.com. We're here at the Lewis County Sheriff's Office with Sheriff Mike Carpinelli. And uh, we're here because uh, the Sheriff's Office just announced a little while ago the arrest of Claude Bodle Jr., a uh, 44-year-old male that was a part-time corrections officer here at the uh, Sheriff's Office. And uh, Mr. Bodle's been arrested and charged with uh, sex abuse in the second degree official misconduct and forcible touching and all these charges are misdemeanors and the arrest stems from an investigation conducted by the sheriff's office that alleges he had an inappropriate contact with a female inmate um, he was arranged arraigned in village of Laval court and was released on his own recognizance and an order of protection has been filed with the vic on behalf of the victim um, the Sheriff's Department is still investigating the crime at the time, but we just wanted to get a little bit more of a, an idea of what was going on here. So the Sheriff has agreed to talk to us a little bit. So uh, when was this a, a brought to your attention, Sheriff? Uh, how, how long has this been going on? Well, it's it, the last few months uh, that we've been conducting the uh, internal investigation, uh, and it's an ongoing investigation. Okay. So over that time period, um, he hasn't been working here over that past few months. Um, he has been working here up until currently the other the other day. Okay, and he's been taken off the schedule, and we're in a process now moving for uh, uh, termination. Okay, so at this point, he's no longer working here at the sheriff's department, and you're moving towards the official termination. That's correct. Okay, now can you talk a little bit about how these allegations came to your attention? Hmm, I, that would, I cannot at this point. I cannot at this point that would uh, compromise anything else that we have ongoing. If, okay. If you can understand that, we appreciate it. Okay. So is there the potential that there could be additional charges filed with this individual, or you're, you're still looking into some of the... We're still looking into, 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 into the investigation, like I say. Okay. Um, and I know that you, you said that you, you've... Uh, coordinated with the district attorney on these charges that were we currently did. filed we did what we did was we uh, we conduct our own internal investigation uh independent of uh, our office um of me mm -hmm. um when that investigation was upon completion all the information was presented to me um it was looked over by uh, my command staff uh, we then presented that to district attorney upon a recommendation as we we made the arrest of that individual okay and uh can you talk a little bit about, this was a part-time employee, um, about how long had Mr. Bodo worked here at the Sheriff's Office? A little over a year as a part-time employee, as a part-time okay. correction officer. Are you expecting the potential for additional victims or was this an isolated incident, do you think? Or? I, I, I hope that it's an isolated incident. Okay. Yes, I do. And the incident actually took place here at the jail? It occurred in this facility, yes, sir. Okay. Um, okay. Um, is there anything else that you want to add about the case or any any uh, not anything currently. that you want the public to know about yeah no, not on? currently um, just just to, to say that you know we we, uh, we saw something that um, needed the attention uh, taken um, we ourselves conducted uh, that internal investigation um, and uh, we came to the right uh, uh, conclusion I feel and uh, the district attorney uh, solidified that by uh, advising us on all our work that we had done mm -hmm. and uh, that's when we made the arrest of the individual. Okay. And the victim in this case would be a female victim? It would be. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, well, we appreciate your time this afternoon, Sheriff, and um, it's always tough when you have to talk about arrest in one of your own, so we appreciate you being uh, transparent and forthcoming with the information. Well, that. thank you. We appreciate it too, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thanks. All right, Nick.